guys, so right now I'm going to be doing a video that I have seen over YouTube a little bit. I think I saw Hilly Fam do it, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna join and jump on the bandwagon because I am unoriginal. <laughs> I'm not unoriginal, I just saw this idea, and I was like, I want another excuse to spend all of my money. So that is exactly what I went and did. So basically the challenge is spending £100 in a store that's more expensive, not high-end, but like basically Urban Outfitters, and then a cheaper store. So for example, Hayley, I think she did Walmart or Target or something, but I did the UK's famous Primark. Literally, you can tell in the size of the bags how much more I got from Primark. Look, look at this Primark bag, it's literally full to the brim. And then this Urban Outfitters bag is just small. No, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to smash it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and check out my Instagram because I'm doing Vlogmas, not on my Instagram, on my YouTube. I definitely said that in the wrong order. So I'm gonna start off with Urban Outfitters. I'll insert the vlog footage from choosing out these bits now. <laughs> Drove the gates, feeling anxious around 12 a.m. Yeah. Just move, but might move it all out again. Oh, look how cute. This feel like deja vu. Swear last year my brain bought the same thoughts through. I blame the things I do. Only difference is I ain't So I'm back from Urban Outfitters, and this is what I got. I got three things. I think I spent over £100. On my receipt, it says £113.40. and pence. Yeah, so the first thing I got, I actually got this for my little sister for her birthday. So if you're watching this, close your eyes now, but you actually have already seen this, so it doesn't matter. But I thought I'd include it in the video because I like it as well, I just don't need more t-shirts. Um, it is this little clueless top. The quality of this is so nice. The design is super cute, even on this little bit here, it has clueless. So the attention to detail is really nice. However, it cost me £29, and that is a lot for a t-shirt but also that is the normal price if you're buying it from Primark I mean Urban Outfitters so it just it depends it is like a really nice top and I love everything at Urban I just think it's slightly for this specific t-shirt I think it's almost should be 15 pounds or even less um, the next thing I got also by the way I'm gonna be trying on um, all the stuff at the end well not all of it but I'm gonna be picking out stuff and seeing how many outfits I can make um, to see like what is worth your money. Um, this is the next thing I got. It is this cat jumper. It's the sort of thing that I can't decide if it's really ugly and I should never wear it or if it's so cute and I'm definitely going with the so cute. I really wanna wear this but I think I need to get a medium just because it's not the type of thing that I'd really wear out. I would literally just wear this every day in bed until it smells. <laughs> Yuck, that was way gross than I thought it would be. Um, but it's so cute, I had these little kittens on and it says, I want to be adored. I do actually really like the quality of this. It feels super nice, it's stretchy, which I feel like you might not get in cheaper stores. It cost me 42 pounds, but then again, jumpers usually are more on the pricey side. If you go somewhere like PLT, they'll probably be like 20 pounds. So I'm just justifying Urban Outfitters because I love it. <laughs> the last thing I got from Urban Outfitters, a very short haul because I only had £100 to spend and everything there ranges from about, depending on what you get, like 30 to £50 for like t-shirts, hoodies and jeans. For like coats and stuff it's more and like pants it's obviously cheaper but the normal stuff is about that much. Um, these jeans I got for £55 pounds okay no to be fair that is a normal price for jeans isn't it like that's what you'd pay at top shop and these jeans are so nice like i got some jeans from another store the other day and the zip is just you know you can just tell that it's cheap it feels really cheap it doesn't close this zip is really smooth and nice the button works really well it's not like shaking around like the cheap places um and the waist is elasticated Okay, I don't know, these, I think these are definitely worth every penny, I'm not gonna lie. They even have little pockets that are actual pockets. They have this contrast stitching and they fit me perfectly. So I think I'm actually gonna keep these at the end of this video and the length also fits me really nicely. So I just found the perfect jeans and I don't care they were 55 pounds because I do think it's worth it. Like, you would not get elasticated jeans anywhere cheaper 
and the quality is like the actual material is so soft but they're thick so that is everything for urban outfitters i'm gonna go on to primark now i'm gonna be showing you me trying on at the end of this video So heavy. The difference between the Primark bag and the little urban bag that is actually a joke. This is the Primark bag. It is huge. There's gonna be so much stuff to refund. I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, so the first thing I got is this oversized cobalt blue um sweatshirt. And I said cobalt wrong in my other video, and this girl went ham on me. And she was like, you don't know how to say cobalt. Sorry, I actually couldn't care less, but you know what? I'm here now and I'm saying it right, so that's all that matters. This is a very nice jumper. It is soft, this is really stretchy. It's just overall really nice, and this was 13 pounds. That is such a good deal. I got this in a size small, if you guys are wondering. It is just really nice, it's big and stretchy, and I love it. I don't know how much I'd actually wear this, just because it's quite a bold color. I say that literally wearing neon trousers, but like, you know what I mean? Nevertheless, it's very nice. I do recommend getting that. The next thing I got when I saw this, I was like, this is just the cutest thing ever. It's this little black cardigan and it has these buttons. Really nice quality. It's soft, it's thick and a little bit stretchy. And this was 13 pounds. You tell my voice is going funny because I need to drink water. I'm in love with that cardigan. Also, Primark has a massive range of sizes. They have like extra, extra small to... A 16 I think which is great they have every size next thing I got is shoes I had to reach the 100 pound mark I actually this whole bag cost 95 I was so annoyed when I got to the tail I was like oh my god and Izzy was like just buy some baby wipes or something to make it 100 pounds and I was like a baby wipes kill the environment and b don't want them Ugg boots I remember getting these when I was in yeah I don't know ages ago I remember going to Primark and like saving up for the Ugg boots and they'd always sort of lose their fluff a little bit on the inside but then I feel like every like real Ugg boots would do that as well um but these are so nice they're this black suede and then on the inside they're really really fluffy next got this little skirt I think I might refund this just because I'm not I don't normally wear things with zips like this at the front however I thought it was so Oh my god, the zip's just got stuck. I've just realised you're not supposed to open that zip. It's not an actual zip, it's just that. Um, but it's so cool. It's this black skirt with red contrast stitching. Very good. Little grey high neck. This cost me £5. Oh yeah, the skirt, by the way, was uh, £12. Which for a skirt is so good. Like at Urban Outfitters, that would be like £40. This little snake top. I got this in an extra small and this was £10. This is so cute. It's just this... Top. very stretchy the material is really really nice these are some that I got the back is quite intense thong but it's comfy because it's so intense do you know what I mean um like thongs when they're like not thongy enough they're kind of uncomfortable when you get a permanent wedgie but they're just comfy I had some more money to spend so I got some random stuff got some nude tights because I feel like everyone needs some nude tights for winter and then I got some more of those pants um, some earrings, these are really really cute, these little hoops, zebra skirt, this is so cute, I don't think this is going to fit me because it's a 6 and I'm usually a 4, but this was £12 and I just wanted to show you guys how cute it was, it's very nice quality as well, and finally I got some little black fluffy heels which I've already worn and these were £12, the total it came to £95, but if you look there's so many things actually on this list. So that is a haul of everything, and now I'm going to be trying on some bits and seeing how I can style some of the stuff. Most of my day spent long. Same my bro, he knows. Gotta pay dues. Walking in mud, you can check my shoes. Trying to bite this, might chip your tooth. Trying to come with you, fake no room. When it made that deal, they should go and pay bills. Time beyond my ass, but I pull a stand like copper fit. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and check out my Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh baby, I love.